controversial blogger Robert Alai, who has been in police custody since Friday morning. Alai was allegedly arrested by Flying Squad police along Mombasa Road, and according to his family, Alai divulged that he was ordered out of his vehicle at gunpoint and forced into another car before being taken to Kamukunji police station. The blogger's family, which refused to speak to the media, arrived at the Kamkunji police station to see Robert Alai, who has been in police custody since Friday 10 a.m., when he was allegedly arrested by police officers from the Flying Squad unit. By mid-morning, the blogger, who KTN News managed to speak to via phone, insisted he had not formally been charged, even though, according to the station's occurrence book, he had been accused of incitement through reckless use of a licensed telecommunications gadget. Many believe Robert Alai may have landed himself into trouble following a post he made on Wednesday on his blog, touching on the Kenyatta family. On social media, some would come to his defense, including renowned bloggers who condemned the act of detaining him for hours without leveling any charges against him. One would tweet, you may disagree or dislike a lie, but arresting bloggers over trumped-up charges is wrong and must be condemned. And it appears the online pressure to have him released may have paid off as KTN News can confirm that the blogger was released a few minutes past 4 p.m. Saturday evening. He just calls it like he sees it without fear or favor. Robert Alai is in the house. It is not the first time a lie has been at loggerheads with the police. The controversial blogger has on several occasions been arrested, with the most recent one taking place last year, January, when he was once again accused of misusing a licensed telecommunication gadget. He was at the time released on a 100,000 shillings bond. Because I, I fear what the government is trying to do. A lie will now have to appear before the Special Crimes Unit of the Police Service on Monday to absolve himself of the latest accusations that have gotten him in trouble once again. Timothy Otieno, KTN News. And President Uhuru Kenyatta has told elected Nairobi Jubilee leaders that they must avoid